welcome to Martin Made. My name's Stephanie and today we are talking about pantry organization. So the other day I actually went in and got my pantry all organized. I was kind of frustrated because over the holidays my pantry had just kind of blew up and so I went in and I pulled everything out and got everything cleaned up. Um, and so I'm gonna take you today and show you how I organize my pantry. This is where I keep all of our food items plus a few of the um, extra things that I use um, on the counters, but I don't necessarily wanna clutter up my counters, so I keep a lot of stuff in here. You'll notice we have patchwork that has to get painted over. Um, we put in these floating shelves and I absolutely love them, but the only problem with the floating shelves was getting them in <laughs> and it scuffed up the wall quite a bit. So we had to patch all that up. Um, but this is my pantry. I got this idea off of Pinterest. I've seen quite a few different ones, but I absolutely love this. It is a great idea for those who might have a smaller kitchen. My kitchen's not huge, but I have little counter space and um, I just love being able to put things away into the pantry. And yes, I have, have missed out a little bit on counter space that I could have had, but it's great. It saves me on a lot of things. Um, I don't have to try to figure out how I'm going to keep everything in cabinets. So this is a design that I absolutely love. So here's the inside of my pantry and I'm going to go through now and I'm going to tell you a little bit about some ideas that I have used for organizing my pantry. So the first tip I have is to keep all your heavy things on the bottom. This is something that if any YouTuber is posting video on their pantry, this will be in their video, I promise you. Because you don't wanna have to be grabbing a stool or a chair to try to get something down from the top and you don't want things falling down on you as you're grabbing it. The key, biggest key is to keep all of that at the bottom. I keep my bread maker, I keep my crock pot, I keep my roaster and I keep a huge bin of extra flour. Um, down in there. So that's what I, I like to do. The other thing is bins. Bins, 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 bins. There you go. These are my three bins that I would suggest if you are going to have anything in your pantry that you would do a mixed spices, baking ingredients, and cupcake supplies. But you do have to have kind of the the things that we have. If, if you make cupcakes a lot, this is worth it. If you have kids and you decorate cookies, you could do cookies and cupcakes, but a whole bin that's just dedicated to your decorating stuff. The mixed spices, I use tons of spices in my cooking, so I love having a thing of mixed spices up there. The other thing is the baking ingredients. This is for anybody who likes to bake have a bin that is just dedicated to all your baking needs. Cocoa, baking powder, baking soda, uh, chocolate chips. You could even put your chocolate chips in your cupcake cookie bin if you're gonna do cookies in there. The other thing I suggest is to use, utilize all that space in the corner with Lazy Susans. They are amazing, they just work so well like we use it for any kinds of spices and um, flavorings, um, honey. I, we, we have jars of honey on there as well. Um, we keep our peanut butter, any of our Thai stuff that we use for making pad Thai, we keep it on all of that. Um, so those are a big key. Another thing is to get bins that are not just bins to keep things closed up, but bins that are actually gonna keep your stuff fresh. Because things like brown sugar, sugar, um, breadcrumbs, fried onions, let's see here, beans and lentils, cereal, 
those things, I've got pasta over here. Um, those things are going to go stale and they don't have to be in containers, but they will go stale if you don't have a airtight container. Think about that when you're, you're doing your, your pantry. Um, think about what can I put into an airtight container that would make it last longer. And really the last thing is leave space for extras because when you want to stock up on stuff, always have a space where you can put the extras because it's annoying having extras where you're having to try to put it all down in amongst your other food. And then make sure you remember what you have, even if you have to have a list of things that are up in your pantry or wherever in your pantry, always keep a list there. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some tips for organizing pantries. Um, hopefully that can help you no matter what kind of pantry you have. Even if you have just cabinets, I hope I was able to help you. Now, I, if you are new to this channel, I hope that you will subscribe down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And for those who would like to comment down below, let me know if you have any other pantry organization tips that I missed. I hope you have a great day. God bless you. Bye.